Hi guys, how's it going? I ended up accumulating a huge pile of books and I, I didn't have the opportunity to show you guys some of them, so let's get to it. Let's start with Library of America. I picked up this beautiful box set set. This is the Ursula K. Le Guin, the Hainish novels and stories. Well, this box is really cool. I love the design of the box itself. You probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of these um, dust jackets, these black dust jackets, but I became a big fan of Library of America. So here we have the books. The only thing, the only different thing is that they come inside the box. It's a really sturdy one. Maybe in the future I'll do a video about these box set sets because I think they are a great deal. The books that come inside the box set set, they ended up being less expensive than if you uh, buy them separately. So here I have the two volumes, the same design that I'm not the biggest fan with uh, the portrait of the author on the cover. Two different portraits of Ursula K. Le Guin and the novels here. Uh, we have The World for World is Forest, Stories, Five Ways to Forgiveness, The Telling, Rukanon's World, Planet of Exile, City of Illusions, The Left Hand of Darkness, The Dispossessed, and more stories. I tried to find <laughs> images and videos of both these books, it said that I couldn't do it, but I'm really happy with the quality. Next, I'm so thankful to you guys. I don't know if the majority of you already know that I now have an Amazon influencer store. Kind of helped me to buy more books to show you guys. I'm so in love with this box. It was one of the most expected books that I got in the last month. And here we have it. This is the Laura Ingalls Wilder, the Little House books, the complete collection in two volumes and look how stunning I couldn't find it here in Brazil so I got it on Amazon US here we have it uh, the box itself is really beautiful I really enjoy the design but what shines here are the books themselves here I have volume one and it's quarter bound cloth here paper here, a ribbon marker, here I have the second volume. And if you enjoy the Little House series, uh, this is the best you will find out there. I was almost finishing editing this video and I noticed that I forgot to show you guys this edition of Jack London's novels and stories. Here I have The Call of the Wild, White Fang, The Sea Wolf, Klondike, and other stories. And I look forward to reading the first two uh, because I love dogs and animals, you know, and many people have recommended these stories to me many times, so I saw this bind-up copy and I was like, I need to have it. I have a big problem with the dust jacket because fingerprints. So now let's see some of the Everman's Library books I got. First I have here Catch-22. I'm pretty sure you already know this book. It's pretty famous, one of the most famous anti-war stories and I look forward to reading it. Next I have Dr. Givago. Dr. Givago will probably be one of the first classics I'll be reading in 2018. I don't know if you guys know this uh, book. Here I, I read the blurb to you. In the grand tradition of the epic novel, Boris Pasternak's masterpiece brings to life the drama and immensity of the Russian Revolution. Through the story of the gifted physician poet Zhivago, the revolutionary Straunikov and Lara, the passionate woman they both love. I look forward to reading this one. I saw a video here on booktube and I was immediately, you know, involved with this story and really curious about it, so I got this beautiful copy. Here I have the cover and the spine. A book that many of you have mentioned to me on that Folio Society giveaway video in which I asked you about your all-time favorite book is this one here, The Master and Margarita. And this one is about devil going to the Union Soviet. It, it seems really funny and I'll definitely give it a go in the beginning of 2018. And next I have The Temple of the Golden Pavilion by Yukio Mishima. It's a story about 
a man who fall in love with a temple and in the end he destroys the temple. Let's move on to children's books. The first I'll be showing you guys is the small Pan Macmillan Collector's Library of Railway Children. This book is about three uh, children and they move to the countryside, I guess, when their father is arrested, unfairly arrested. I'm currently reading it. I'm loving it so far. Next I have the complete Grimm's Fairy Tales. This is a Knickerbocker Classics edition and I'm collecting all the Knickerbocker uh, classics because I really enjoy uh, this style of the books. I really enjoy the cloth bound editions and during a sale it was, you know, almost free. Next I have the limited signed edition of The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. This is the first book of a new trilogy that is set 10 years before the events of his dark materials. I haven't read it yet. The book looks great, the design is really nice, but the materials are not the best. They could have done a better job when it comes to the materials of this book, especially the binding which is glued, you know, so a limited edition with glue binding. I don't see the point, but it is signed and I'm I kind of glad I got it, you know. I hope the story is good because I have heard good and not so good things about it. And next I finally got the second book of uh, the Jin K illustrated editions of Harry Potter. Here we have the Chamber of Secrets and I'm collecting these editions really slowly because I'm trying to pay the less amount of money and this one was really inexpensive so I finally have it here. I don't think I have to comment on, on it, right? All you guys already know this collection because it's stunning. Moving on. Now, let's talk about Shakespeare. Um, I've been trying to read more Shakespeare but I failed in 2017, so in 2018 I already got some books here that will be helping me in this uh, project I'm planning. So the first one is another Penn Macmillan's Collector's Library edition. This is Macbeth, really small sized and portable. I'll be traveling January, so I guess I'll be carrying around some of these smaller copies and I really like them. They grew on me definitely. Next I got another Knickerbocker classic. This one is the complete uh, works of William Shakespeare. Here I have the book. Let me... yes. I think it looks great. Beautiful book. Really um, sturdy edition. Uh, I, you won't be able to see it inside because of the light but it was half price, so I couldn't resist. Here I have all 37 plays, 154 sonnets, and four narrative poems, including Hamlet, Romeo and Juliet, King Lear, Othello, and many others. So I'm really pleased with this one. Let me try to put it here for you to see. The colors are stunning, you know, this cloth feels great. But let's be honest here, since English is not my first language, Reading the original plays, you know, very, very difficult to me. So I also got Shakespeare in Portuguese and here I have a beautiful box. You know, I love the covers. I think they are classy. Quite simple, but yeah, I think they did a great job here. And that's why I got, this is a new release here in Brazil. That's what I'm trying to do. I'll be reading first in Portuguese. I already know the majority of the stories, but I haven't read the actual work. So I first, I guess, okay, I'll first read the translation to Portuguese. And after that, I will tackle the original in English. Let's see how it goes. Next, I got a Brazilian classic called Macunaíma by Mário de Andrade. This is a modernist work. I'm not the biggest fan of modernists in general, but this book looks amazing. And it's one of those books that we must read at school and we never do. <laughs> and I, I haven't read it, but I started reading it. I'm almost in the middle of it and it's kind of interesting. It's called Macunaíma, the name of the main character. And people say that he is like a symbol of the Brazilian people. And uh, the subtitle is The Hero Without Character. So this not necessarily means that he is a bad character. Um, that he's a mean person, 
but that he is in search of his identity. And this is something that we definitely can relate to the Brazilian people. Lastly, I have two Knickerbocker classics again. I got the Edgar Allan Poe Complete Tales and Poems. I have a copy of the Complete Tales, but I didn't have a copy of the poems with all the poems. So I got the Knickerbocker classics. Here we have the box. I love the look, uh, how it looks. And here we have the actual book. And the last book is the Divine Comedy. Here I have for you to see the box, how it looks. And here we have the book, another stunning Knickerbocker Classics um, edition. It includes the complete epic trilogy, Inferno, Purgatorio and Paradiso. And it contains illustrations. This one was on my wish list for a while. And now I guess I still have to buy more like five books in the Knickerbocker Classics collection. And I'm doing it because I love the titles and because the way the collection looks, the quality, you know, the paper, the binding. So oh, finally, guys, I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know down below what you think about these copies and where should I start reading? What should I start reading in 2018? I'll be filming another video with my classics TBR for 2018, but I haven't, you know, decided yet. I love the end of the year. I love this time, the season and Christmas. I wish you guys a great new year. See you guys in the next video. Bye.